Have you ever tried to plug in a USB and got it wrong the first time? Every single time. Here's why. When engineers designed USB in the 1990s, they wanted it to be cheap and simple. Making it reversible would have meant doubling the number of pins and therefore doubling the cost. So they decided to make USB a one-way street. You might think that's an oversight that could have been easily fixed, but no. For decades, we've all been forced to deal with the consequences of this seemingly arbitrary decision. And no one even knew why until the creator of USB admitted it was a mistake. In an interview in 2020, AJ Batt, the chief architect of USB, admitted that making USB a one-way connector was a mistake. But why did it take until 2020 for USB-C to finally fix it? Well, there were many reasons. One is that USB was designed to be a very simple protocol. In fact, when it was first released, it didn't even have any kind of locking mechanism. It was just a simple connector that plugged in one way and that was it. Another reason is that USB was designed to be a very low speed protocol. The first version of USB only had a maximum speed of 12 megabits per second, which is about 1 30th of the speed of modern USB 3.0. This meant that there wasn't really a need for a more sophisticated connector. However, as USB became faster and more popular, the need for a reversible connector became more apparent. The USB Implementers Forum, which is the group that oversees the USB standard, actually did consider making USB-C reversible when they were designing it. But ultimately, they decided against it because it would have made the connector more complex and therefore more expensive. It wasn't until much later that they finally agreed to make USB-C reversible. But now that USB-C is here, we still have to deal with the legacy of all those years of non-reversible USB. If you're one of the many people who still have a ton of old USB gadgets, you re gone? Nah. Have to deal with the frustration of trying to figure out which one is which every single time you use them. But at least now we know that it doesn't have to be this way. USB-C is not only reversible, but it's also faster and smaller than the old USB. So hopefully we won't have to deal with this problem for much longer. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next video.